Somewhere in sunny Spain, there is a place called Cadiz. Cadiz is a port city from which sherry was sent. About the same time they captured all that nasal snuff that we now, now call the SP style of snuff, uh, they captured a whole bunch of sherry as well. Sherry actually is named for a place called Jerez de la Frontera in Spain, where they grow some pretty special grapes to make a very special wine called sherry. Wilson's has done a very good job of capturing the character, if not the precise scent, of a good medium-bodied, medium-dry sherry in their nasal snuff, Wilson's of Shero Sherry. I'm going to open up the tin and see what we've got. I'm kind of cheating because I already know. <laughs> Medium grind, good moisture content. This should be very easy to sniff, and in fact it is. The tin note is alcoholic. It smells of fermentation. It smells more of wine dregs than actual wine, or perhaps a, an empty wine cask or wine barrel. But there are definitely hints of the Palomino grape, uh, maybe a little Amontillado in there. It's uh, not a sweet sherry scent. It is a drier sherry scent. As I said, very boozy, very alcoholic. Now, while I've been talking to you, I've been warming my pinch here between my thumb and my forefinger. Let's see how it tastes. And some fell out of my nose, not a good sign. But I got enough up in there to tell you that you get some ammonia right away. Now, this is a very fresh tin. I just opened this 5-gram tin uh, a little bit ago. And so, you know, a little bit of ammonia doesn't surprise me. I don't like it, but it doesn't surprise me. It's not heavy, and it goes away very quickly. The ammonia scent will. Um, yeah, the scent is sweet uh, with a lot of fermentation smell to it. It does smell like wine must more than actual wine. Now, keep in mind, when we say sherry, that's a lot like saying you know, beer. You know, there's lots of kinds of beer. You know, there's IPAs and there's ales and there's, you know, all different species and varieties of beer. The same goes with sherry. Sherry can range in sweetness from incredibly syrupy, you know, using the muscat grapes. Uh, very sweet, <clears throat> very heavy. And it can go to a very light, dry, almost um, sort of a Chardonnay scent to it. This is somewhere in the middle. If you like a good medium dry sherry, and if you're familiar with the scent of that wine, uh, this will appeal to you a great deal. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this. It is not to my personal tastes. This is not something I will buy again. Uh, but thankfully, I only have a 5 gram tin, and I imagine I'll use it up because it's interesting, if nothing else. I'm going to give this one a 5 out of 5 on the squinty scale, where 1 is disgusting and 5 is you gotta have it. I'm giving this a 5 out of 5. I think this is one that is well worth trying. It's pretty tough to find snuffs that maintain sort of the alcoholic scent of alcoholic beverages. This does so admirably. It has the complexity that reminds one of oak wine barrels and wine must. Muscat and Palomino grapes, very, very good. From the dank basement with the Wilsons of Chero, Sherry. This is your Uncle Squinty, Paul Shalbitter. As always, thank you for watching.